productonline.com.au. I'm Anya Kath and today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of how to make homemade nut milk. Now basically you can use any nuts that you like. I've personally used today hazelnuts which have been soaked overnight and rinsed in purified water. So to get started I've got about a cup of nuts here in the blender and other than nuts, if you want a little bit of extra flavour, I like to use dates. You can also add a bit of honey or just leave it as plain nut milk if you like. So I've got about five or six dates there, pitted dates, and a quantity of purified water. I like to put about double the amount of water to nuts. So about one cup of nuts, two cups of water. But if you like it creamier, use a little bit less water. If you like it runnier, add more water if you like. Okay, and then we simply put the lid on, listen to a bit of noise and blend up these nuts. Keep that running for about two minutes for a very fine nut milk. Take the lid off. Now, I like to use a nut milk bag with an elastic top. It's just a bit easier to use. Pour in the milk. Okay. And. Basically just squeeze all the milk out of this bag. What you'll be left with is the nut pulp, which you can use to make biscuits. You could dehydrate it and use it in your cereal. Um, if you're using almonds, uh, you could make an almond scrub. Okay, lovely fresh nut milk. So I've made my nut milk. I usually keep my nut milk in a, a glass bottle as opposed to plastic. I just prefer the flavour. And that'll keep in the fridge for a good two to three days if it lasts that long in your family. Um, I usually make it fresh every morning and it's just a great alternative to cow's milk if someone's lactose intolerant, just a very delicious, quick way to make fresh homemade milk. Enjoy.